Welcome to another Becoming a Tattoo Artist video, episode 2. I haven't practiced tattooing for about a month now, which is kind of a lot, I know, but hopefully all the confidence I gain and kind of the experience of holding the tattoo pen and everything is still with me because I might be actually tattooing human skin in this video, so we will see because a friend of mine will be here in about two days and he wants a tattoo from me and it is kind of so, so scary, but also I think like I have to take this step and see what happens and also just start to not be as afraid as I am. Also, since I'm gonna be tattooing actual human skin, I needed to get the rest of the supplies I might need for keeping the skin clean and hygiene and all that stuff. So I have this, you know, kind of huge box of supplies over here. I had this box for so many days sitting around because I want to show you everything that I got. Some black bedding for keeping the tattoo surface clean and the place where the person sits. My main focus was just protection and hygiene. So again, I got some foam for cleaning and some bacteria spray. Another water bottle because I want to mix my green soap with water. This is the actual green soap. I have to admit, I got this one just because it just looked so nice and cool. So these two will go together. This is a medium size. I also decided to try out some pen machine bags. I have a pen machine, so I got these little bags. They are planet-friendly, biodegradable, and they seem pretty nice and cool. And then I want to try out some... Oh no! I want to try out some five round liners, but they made a mistake and they gave me three round liners that I already have, which is okay, but then again, I really wanted that five round liner for the tattoo I'm gonna do in two days, so I don't know how I'm gonna work this out now. I do have some seven round liners, but I think they are too thick for me. I wanted that five middle ground. And the last thing I wanted was just some new ink to make sure that I have some well-known good quality ink and I got these two brands because I couldn't decide. I got the Dynamic Black ink and also the Kurosumi, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, the Kurosumi um, again black ink. I got both in these smaller bottles because I want to try out and test this out and see what fits me best. These were the main things that I was missing to start doing on human skin, so now I think I'm kind of ready. Before we go any further in this video, I have to say just how thankful I am for reaching 100k subscribers. Thank you so so much for being here, thank you for watching, thank you for just a comment or a like means so so much and I have no words to explain how this feels because I have thought about this day, I have seen this number happen in my head when it wasn't even close to happening and it is just crazy to me that it happened. Thank you so, so much. It's just such a huge milestone and goal for me. And thank you for helping me to do this. And I appreciate every one of you so, so much.
as I was setting up to start practicing the tattoo design I was about to do on my friend, I wanted to test out all the supplies I got and especially the pen bags I got for my pen machine to see if everything works as I was expecting. And actually the pen bags didn't work for me because even though I chose some thin material and I thought they were a bit transparent so it will be okay for me, I wasn't able to see the screen of my tattoo pen and it is something that it is very important since when I want to start doing some shading I have to turn down the voltage and when I'm doing line work I have to get it up again so I need to see the numbers I'm choosing and what voltage I'm using. And also another huge deal breaker that these pen packs had was that their pre-cut hole was way too big for my pen machine and the needles I'm using. So it was actually just a, a huge hole that everything could come through like blood and any other fluids or just used ink and this is so bad because all this could go into your machine and it would be even harder to clean and it is almost like you have not wrapped your machine at all so it was just pointless and useless so I just went back and wrapped my machine again with the usual method I had been using before which is with a simple kitchen wrap material until I search for some better bags and just something that will work better and faster through the process of me prepping for a session. And now I could see everything, my pen machine screen and also I have wrapped my pen machine in a way that I can twist it so I can easily change the needle depth. The past few weeks I had this conversation with my mom that hey, I might come and change our living room into a tattoo studio and was just like slowly bringing it up because I didn't want to scare her but also I wanted her to know that this is something that I am taking seriously and I want to do this and I need a space to do this so I was a bit afraid that she might overreact or something but as usual my mom is so 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 damn supportive, I have no words to tell you. Even though she doesn't realize or she doesn't really like tattoos like any mother out there, she immediately just said yes, of course. And not only that, but she actually found an old doctor's bed and brought it to me so I can have an actual tattoo bed to tattoo my people. And out of nowhere, in just one day, I was starting to build my small home tattoo studio and it was just one day before my friend came to tattoo him so it was perfect timing even though it was super tiring to start something like this out of the blue it got me so so excited that I will have an actual more professional place to tattoo my friend this is the bed and just the mirror and some flowers as I said and now my next move is to kind of start making this feel more like me. We have this desk over here because my brother when he comes home he usually studies here so I need to just you know remove all these um, noise around here and there are so much more things that need to be done. Just the fact that this whole thing has started is surreal and right now it is um yeah I need to go and take a shower and just sleep. in the beginning of this video my friend wanted three tattoos the first one was a little tooth 
And I started with this one because it was the best warm-up design I could ever ask. It took me 40 minutes to just do this little tooth and I was so sick at the beginning because I got so stressed. But thankfully I was really relaxed and ready to start on the second one. The complete session of all the three tattoos was around six hours so we took a lot of breaks because as I said this is like my second time tattooing on actual human skin and thankfully my friend was so patient and we were doing a little breaks whenever he needed to get up and also this was really important because it was the first time I had to deal with doing something like this with an actual human because when you have a fake skin you can have stay still for as long as you need I mean it's just a fake skin it doesn't move it doesn't do anything but when you're dealing with an actual human you have to take into consideration their feelings, their body, their everything and it was such a great experience to see how a tattoo session goes between me, the artist and the person I am tattooing. At the end of the six hour session both of us got really tired, my friend started to hurt quite a lot and he said that it was starting to be really painful and also my back started to hurt because this is, was just the first time doing all of this, but we both pushed through it and we have three really good tattoos. My friend was so, so pleased and satisfied with everything, even the experience. He said that I was really so professional and he really appreciated everything and it was just the best things I could hear. Of course, I can see all the little mistakes and all the things that I could improve and also I realized how practice I still need to do, but it is really important to just take a moment and appreciate how far you've come. Not only this was my second time doing a tattoo on human skin, but it was my first time practicing shading. And there are so many things that you need to keep track while doing a tattoo and I have to admit that at some point, some minutes where I got really tired, I started to lose focus and I could feel me doing this and I, I got quite scared but I tried to calm myself down, I tried to take a minute to rest and kept going and just seeing my friend's face at the end of the session was everything I needed. He was so so happy. These past four days was a really wholesome experience. Seeing the afternoon light hitting my home studio gave me that final warm feeling that I wanted to live many more days like this one. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Thank you for 100k subscribers. You inspire me and give me the strength to just keep doing things that warm my heart and make me happy. I would love to know your thoughts or any questions that you might have in the comments down below or even just tell me how you're doing. It has been so long since we chatted and also if you're new here and you like this video you can subscribe because many more like this one are coming up. You can hit the like button because it helps so so much and till next time have a super duper day. Bye!